Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onyi Guzman and our topic for today is statistics and basic terms. Specifically, we'll talk about the importance and types of sample. This is for grade 7, quarter 4. By definition, statistics is a branch of mathematics that deals with the collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. So whenever we talk about collection, so it refers to the gathering of information or data. So the highlight here is we will convert the data into information. Moving on, if we say organization or presentation, it involves summarizing data in graphical, tabular, or textual forms. So say for instance, we have the average transactions per day. So we have the following transactions. So we have general inquiry, property transfer, business permit, as well as driver's license. So as we can see, we have the following. We have 8 for general inquiry, 15 for property transfer, business permit 24, and driver's license for 38. The next one is what we call analysis. So analysis involves describing the data using statistical methods and procedures. Okay, to give an example, as we can glean on the table, the highest average transactions per day is a driver's license, which is 38, while the least average transaction per day is general inquiry. On the other hand, if we say interpretation, it refers to the process of making conclusions based on the presented data. Example, so the manager should pay more attention on driver's license transactions because it has the highest average transaction per day. Now that we define statistics, let's move on to the importance of statistics. So the study of statistics is important because society frequently organizes and expresses data numerically. We are exposed to statistics every day from weather prediction, newspaper ads, election results, surveys, and others. So here are the some importance. So in the education, it is frequently used to describe best results. In science, the data resulting from experiments must be collected and analyzed. Diseases are controlled through analysis designed to anticipate epidemic. Also, manufacturers can provide better product at reasonable cost through the use of statistical quality control factory. In government, many kinds of statistical data are collected at all time, specifically our taxes. So the knowledge of statistics can help you become more critical in your analysis of information Hence, you will not be misled by manufactured pools, graphs, and averages. Now that we define statistics, let's move on to the common terms in statistics. So let's have the population. So the population is a complete collection of all elements, scores, people, and others to be studied. So this is the graphical representation of the population. On the other hand, if we talk about sample, it is a sub-collection of elements drawn from the population. So from the population, we will get sample. So this is the part of our study. This sample will represent the characteristics of the population. Now that you know the difference between the population and the sample, let's move off the types of sample. There are five types of samples that we will talk about here. So the first one is the random sample. It is defined that in every element in the population has the same probability of being selected for inclusion in the sample. Example, in a recent research that was conducted in a private school, the subjects of the studies were selected using the table of random numbers. The second type of sample is what we call convenience sample. So, it is a type of sample that is chosen so that it will be easy for the researcher. Example is a researcher needs respondents in the National Capital Region or NCR. He lives in Marikina City, we 
which is a part of NCR. So it shows us respondents from Marikina City. The third type of sample is what you call stratified random sample. It is defined that the population is divided into subgroups so that each population member is in only one subgroup. In this type of sample, individuals are chosen randomly from each subgroup. For example, a researcher who is studying the effects of educational attainment on promotion conducted a survey of 50 randomly selected workers from each of the categories, high school graduate with undergraduate degrees with master's degree and doctoral degree. So let's move on to the fourth type of sample, so which is what we call cluster sample. It is defined that it is a type of sample that consists of items in a group such as neighborhood or household. The group may be chosen at random. For our example, a researcher interviewed all top 10 grade 11 students in each of 15 randomly selected private schools in Metro Manila. So let's move on to the fifth type of sample, which is systematic random sample. So it is obtained using an ordered list of population, thus selecting members systematically from the list. The first example is a researcher is doing the research work on the students' reactions to the newly implemented curriculum in mathematics and interviewed every 10th student entering the gate of the school. Another example is the office clerk gave the researchers a list of 500 grade 10 students the researcher selected every 20th name on the list. So to summarize our discussion, so statistics is a branch of mathematics that deals with collection, organization, presentation, analysis, and interpretation of data. So there are actually five uh, samples that we discussed. The first one is random sample. The second one is the convenience sample. The third one is stratified random sample. Fourth one is the cluster sample, and the fifth one is the systematic random sample. So that ends our discussion on statistics and basic terms. Again, this is Teacher Ony Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.